So, last time I tried to tap this hole, which, uh, well, as you can see, Phil, doesn't work. So I got my inserts, I received my inserts, it's this one, and has a slot in there, which is the cutting edge, so it goes in like this. Now, how you um, thread it in is using a bolt, but then, uh, obviously, the insert will still be proud of this aluminium so I grind it off this bolt see if that works so I thread this over the bolt or screw or whatever you call it then just use a drill That was easy. And now, if it ever focuses, it's lower than the aluminium. Now we got something to screw into, and we can screw in and out of it as much as we like because this aluminium thread, if it even worked, which it didn't, will uh, wear out. So, these are neat little things. I didn't know how to use them, now I do, and they're pretty cool. So I um, <clears throat> made this piece higher, so I can mill this, or mill, router, CNC router this, I don't know how you call it. I have some sort of coolant. Eyeball this. See how uh, terrible this is gonna sound. gonna grab one of the bearings that must be fitting in here but the hole is pretty huge and leaves me only this sliver connected to this beam here so one of these and I want to have some playroom but this might be a little bit too much playroom I don't need that much playroom if I need this much playroom <laughs> something is wrong 
So what I'm gonna do is making this pocket a little bit shrunk down. Yeah, I think this is good enough. You see some wiggle room. Okay. It's not a. Uh, it's not real pretty. You wonder why this is. There's a bolt here, so it's in the way. I think this is still sturdy enough to hold a motor as a breaker. That's the whole idea. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I have to do another one because else I have to redo this whole setup. So I'll do the second one and then that's enough noise for one day. <laughs> 